right, we're back off holiday. I went down to Torquay, lovely place, English Riviera. So, fresh back from there. So, this is where we are. So, this is a patio, Indian sandstone in the grey. So, we're taking all this concrete up now, because as you can see, look, it's all completely blown and completely cracked. You can't lay on top of that, so don't lay on top of that. So, all this is coming up. If you follow me up here, quick free. All this is coming up, yeah. You gotta work around this ramp because this is solid, no cracks on there. The sleepers down the side, and if you show them down there, Grace, then all that down there is coming up as well. So we got a breaker, so uh, we're on to it. So yeah, stay tuned. So this is what we did yesterday. So you can see now, all that concrete up there is all coming up. So we're taking that up with a jackhammer. So it's noisy, hard work. But um, you just can't lay your patio on concrete just like this. So if you've got any cracking like that, or like this, see it all going up all through here. So if you've got that, if you lay your paving on top of that, then what you'll find is any further separation of the concrete will come through into your paving and you'll get the cracks on your paving. So. You know, you've got to take it up, put a new base in, and uh, and start again. So very key to uh, to do it the right way. So we'll crack on, and uh, we'll show you we'll show you Brad or Frey doing uh, a bit of the jackhammering. So uh, let's get it out of the van, and we'll show you show you in a minute. See now what we've got to do. Get all this concrete up. Now you think like oh you're only putting a patio in, but to work just going into this to put this patio in, you've uh, got to be done properly. There's a lot of hard work. So. There we are. We're crack on now. We've broken all the concrete up now. So now it's a matter of getting all the concrete in the wheelbarrow and what we're doing is where Brad is there we've got to borrow it up the steps well up the slope, up the slope. and the skip is behind uh, the bushes up there uh, we've already had one skip full of them so that's eight ten so we're on our second so there we are so we've taken it all up through there look all that's gone um, and we're just taking it all up through here now so this is where we are yeah, I'm filming this because it's the first and last time we're going to see this. First and last time? <laughs> well, not many times when I come up to this skip. This oh. is the first time. For everyone to know, it's his very, very, very first time. He already wants to go home. And as, and, and, and as we're doing it, Fraser's loading the barrels. I'm helping him in between my mind. And he's punching Fraser to load, load the barrel. We can't record it because we're trying to work and like him. And you know what? Pasty, Look how quick he unloaded that barrel just for you too. It takes him to turn it the other ways.
taken all the concrete out of here now. That's gone. All the cracked concrete gone. Uh, pretty much two skips are full up there now. So that's uh, 16 ton. So concrete's gone. What we did then as well is we needed to put a hundred mil, or we need to put a hundred mil base in of MT type one underneath our new patio. So we've reduced all the levels. That's what you've seen on the uh, hyperspace thing. What's it called, Frey? Time lapse. Time lapse. Yeah. Hyperspace. You know we're different. We're always different, aren't we? Hyperspace. Uh, it's like Chewie off Star Wars, Frey, isn't it? He does hyperspace, doesn't he? So if Chewie can do it, so can we. So we're going to put our MOT type one in now. All this has been gauged off. Um, so if you show them down that side there, now look, right? So what we got, look, we got these foundations for this wall right up to surface. So what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to lay our patio on top of that. Because you don't want to lay it to it because you'll see it. Um, we can't go below it. So we've got to go on top of it. But client, I mean, look at this wall. This wall is, is leaning over. It's ready to go. It's... Mm, it's not good. So we said to the client about replacing it. He was happy to do that, but next door, even if our client paid for it in full, next door didn't want the disruption, didn't want the wall dead. So if anybody's wondering about that, why that wasn't done, we priced for it. Our client wanted it, but it's unfortunately next door for whatever reason didn't want it. So we've got to respect that. So we're going on top of this. People know here what's going on with the wall. So we've got that to contend with. Whenever you're doing this, be careful of these clay. Old, old clay gullies because they're very very brittle and when you're whacking a, br uh, a breaker around them and stuff they can crack and break we've broken one of there brad's broken one of there so we've got to rectify that an old manhole here as well we've got to rectify look all the bricks they're all shattered they're all snapped and broken they've all fallen apart you can see in there so we've got to put a recessed manhole cover on there and rectify that and then lastly right Underneath here, that was mud. So we've had to again take that off. We've got our we've got our hundred mil um, scalpings, MLT type one. This we've spoken to the client. This is an old armored cable, so that's redundant. But we never say never, so we always treat it as if it's live. So we're ready now for the MOT type one, which we'll uh, show you next. in now look so we got more than 100 mil in this so what we're going to do we've got this severe fall coming down here onto this bit so that's that's quite a severe fall coming down here but we've had to go to that because the drainage center the manhole center we've got the foot into the wall coming here the ramp behind fraser so that's all kind of set in stone where that's going to be for this section coming towards the end of the house here what we're going to have to do we're going to have to put this patio in a separate level because otherwise if we follow this level then the clients are going to have a like a ski slope they'll be sitting on having a glass of wine like that so what we discussed with them is we're going to put a straight line in the random pattern indian sandstone here and, and raise this back section up so it's, it's a proper decent fall for them and then they'll be able to sit up on their patio without sitting on a severe fall so just a little bit of thought and a little bit of uh, consideration sometimes gives a, a better job so if you come around here Frank, See, we've taken the severity out of the force, so that's it. You know, 
have to cap this off with some path edging and concrete on the wall or something. We'll have to have a look at that on Monday. And then if you just spin that girl off me, we've had the best side come up here. So Brad broke this. We've told a client about that. Brad broke it. It was right tight to the surface, a little bit unexpected. Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. We broke it with a breaker. So a little bit, uh, you know, it's not his fault. It, it is what it is. So what we're going to do, we're going to replace the whole gully, take it back to that uh, plastic to clay connect, that rubber connector there, and put a new drain in there, a new gully in there. That one down there, the phrase is showing you now, is all broken anyway. There's nothing to do with us, but we're going to replace that as well. And then this has all been prepped through here. So we've got 100ml through here. So all the base now is done. So any questions, let us know in the comments below. Hope you've liked the video. And um, we'll show you now on part two of the drainage and the eco drain that's going in along here and how we're going to lay the patio. But it's been hard work running down this ramp for is isn't it? Yep, it's killed A real me. challenge, isn't it? It's killed you. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, we've had a, they've, they've done a good job, boys. So. Uh, well done. So have a good weekend. See you on the next bit.